Welcome, Gemini. This is going to be your March reading. Hope everybody is doing well. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump right in. So we do have the chariot coming in, the four of rings. It looks like you're kind of keeping something to yourself while moving forward. Okay, you may be moving away from a situation here with the chariot because something felt a bit unhappy here, unsatisfying. So it's like, you know what? I'm choosing myself, like type of energy. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what is going coming through. Yeah, we have you coming in with the star. We have judgment. So someone's having a wake up call. The challenge is like, should I stay or should I go? And then we have the magician. Eight of Wands is in this person's mind, which is all about communication and movement. And it feels like, oh, wow. Hello. We have the devil coming through. Okay. There's a bit of confusion I'm seeing too, but I feel like this somebody here is in a lot of conflict with an energy. Someone may be... Um, Feeling like, I don't know, that this person may be having some unhealthy, like you're kind of viewing them. It's like you're kind of viewing this person as a bit like challenging. Um, a lot of conflict, like an obstacle, the situation. Because the Five of Wands is not really seeing eye to eye with somebody here. Just kind of feeling like. There's a big, big uh, block in this connection. And it's like causing you to make a choice, a logical choice here with that Queen of Swords energy. Because there's feeling like, like you're in the middle of two paths here, like a crossroads. And the star is showing that there's blessings. This is you having faith into like what the future has for you. And then somebody's having a judgment call here, like a wake up call where they're feeling like they're needing to make a choice. But from what I see here, like from this communication or with this Eight of Wands, it's like they're looking at this as closing out a chapter. But this devil is causing a lot of confusion to where the outcome is showing setbacks. So we're going to get more into this to see what this person is up to or what, because... All right, so we have you coming in with the star. Okay. Five of Cups. I feel like you're trying to recover from an energy. Because remember, the Six of Cups is all about the past or reconnecting or getting triggered by the past. Uh, but it's like trying to recover. Very disappointed though, right? This is like seeing the reality of someone, someone's intentions. This could have been a very uh, hard situation that you're healing from. Um, or it's hard to let go in a way. But let's keep going because we do have the judgment. But the past can feel like just a very strong connection. I feel like this person may be viewing you as like not putting in the effort anymore, not really investing anymore. Okay, as to why they feel like there's like, like something's waking them up. But I also feel by the devil and just by how their actions are, like just the feeling of the energy. It's just showing that somebody here may, may be having an issue with how they make choices in their life, okay? So it could be like poor judgment, um, making poor life decisions. But let's see, because something here with the sun is showing that this person's un unhappy in their energy. Yeah, see, the challenge if I should, like, should I stay or should I go is because we have a Cancer Scorpio Pisces coming into the reading. It doesn't have to be, but this King of Cups in the reverse, and it's in the challenge, and it's in reverse because somebody here is very insensitive. They're very dismissive. Um, they act like they don't care, and they're just emotionally guarded, uh, can be emotionally manipulative, but I feel like they just have a hard time expressing themselves, and when they do, it comes off very immature and careless. And that's what I'm seeing the challenges. And like it's showing like very stuck energy. Like this person acts like this when it comes to conflict. Yeah. Ten of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. 
very patient, determined, and this is a lot of growth. And they're very uh, goal oriented and focused and they support others. So this could be you in the family dynamic, but at the same time, it's just showing like somebody here that is grounded. And then there's someone here that is, and, and loyal. And then there's someone here with the King of Cups that is the opposite of that because it's in the reverse. Like they're emotionally hurtful. Okay, whoever this may be, that's the challenge, is they're coming off emotionally unavailable, which is causing delay. So this person wants to communicate. They want to send you a message, but they are delaying things here with the Three of Wands energy. It's because they're frustrated that no messages are coming in from you because it looks like you're not putting really in the effort anymore. So it does show that if you did send a message, they're holding on to it and they're not replying. But they have it, if you're wondering, okay? It looks like this person's pride is getting in the way. Because of the challenge, because of them being so dismissive and immature, it looks like they're just like, I'm gonna leave too. That's what this looks like here, okay, Gemini? Because of the Ten of Wands, it looks like they're packing their bags and they're leaving in a way because they're hurt by this. They're triggered. And now they're acting out instead of communicating clearly or kind of looking in the mirror and kind of evaluating themselves. It looks like they're making a, very, uh, a move to uh, close out this chapter or move away from this, okay? Because... I don't know, but we have the devil in the near future. And the devil is coming in in the near future, which is coming in with the two of cups and the ten, the death card in rebirth. So what I'm feeling here is that there may be a very, uh, like a karmic cycle going on uh, because somebody comes in and out of your life. And for some of you guys are... It's like you, you're you moving and then all of a sudden somebody's coming back. So it does show a connection coming in in the near future. But unfortunately, this is showing this person is still resisting some change. Uh, there still is uh, not learning from past mistakes. So it's like, it feels like somebody threatened or like kind of bluffed and wanted to walk away, but they ended up coming back in the near future, but they wanted you to feel like they walked away. Uh, but I feel like this happened maybe once before for some of you guys, okay? But it does show the connections coming in, but the death is in the reverse. And once again, that is somebody being resistance to change. Okay, Cling, clinging on to old ways, old habits, um, operating in this, this uh, a pattern that you've seen before. So, but it's showing the connection is coming in. Okay. All right. So with the sun energy, the will of fortune is coming up. So when we have the will of fortune in the reverse, this is telling me that something is very uncertain still. Okay. Because there's a need for change. So there may be a sense of feeling stuck or stagnant because there's a repeated pattern and cycle. Uh, that is hard to break free from this cycle um, because of the resistance, because the ch there, there's a resistance to change. And it feels like somebody here goes in and out with this King of Cups energy um, when they come into the relationship. Like they get all, you know, they kind of play this emotional game with you and they say, I'm, I'm going to manifest something else. I'm going to go after something else and they really don't they come back in the near future are they are they soon will be because sometimes it feels like it's going to end but it's 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 like comes back together you see but there's not something not changing so a pattern is creating here um from what i'm seeing okay so let's get the silent heart and the love oracles here. All 
right T. Twin flame energy. I can see myself with you long term. And I feel like I'm not good enough for you. Okay, let's see the silent heart. That they're silently, what they're holding in. So, unhealthy attachment. See, this twin flame energy is kind of like a projection, like a mirror of you in some way of what needs to be like fixed within yourself. So the twin flame journey is all about growth, but I would look definitely look it up, uh, but it's showing unhealthy attachment, okay, with under the twin flame. There is someone keeping me from you. Betrayal. Do, okay, so for some of you, because this person does not, and I'm not saying this is an excuse for their behavior, okay, but since this person feels like they're not good enough for you and they're feeling a bit insecure, they feel like they can't give you what you need. I wish I can give you what you need. Uh, there may be some type of betrayal or someone here. Or maybe you. this person has cheated before, from what I'm seeing. And um, there's a lot of doubt still here within the, the, the betrayal or the energy is still sur like surrounding this connection for sure. But something became unhealthy due to something that happened in the past and now it's triggering and causing a very big pattern now within this connection that's what i'm seeing here you guys okay All right, your message here is when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. We also have the past is now behind you. Release it and embrace new possibilities. A new path is now available to you. Follow it with faith. Yeah, and then we have new beginnings. So a lot of you guys may have left this behind or releasing this energy. Some of you guys are in a twin flame situation in a karmic cycle or a pattern that keeps occurring. It's hard to break this cycle. Um, if you are out of this situation, this person is in a still in the same cycle, okay? And then it says, a new adventure awaits, embrace it, and live your dreams passionately. So you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and leave this here. This is what I have for you guys for March. I hope this message helped and um, brought clarity to you. And if it did, please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys very soon. God bless.